you know what? I've had this kit for so long and I've only realised now that that's the FIFA World Cup trophy. What is happening people? Reese here for another episode on Concept Reese, and I'm here to talk to you about the five things, the five things that I want to see in FIFA 21 career mode. So if you know anything about me, I'm a massive career mode fan. I love career mode. Uh, I don't play none of that ultimate team, whatever, FUT mode, whatever, and crap. Michael Hunter, none of that jazz. I am a career mode guy. And I'm here to talk to you about the things that I need to see in FIFA 21 straight out of the gate. So number one's easy for me, job vacancies. Oh my God. The lack of opportunity in this game to leave your club is unreal. So I was the manager of, I think it was Sunderland. I've been watching Sunderland till I die. We go up on Netflix. Watch it, if you haven't watched it, it's amazing. So I wanted to take Sunderland from what, League One to the Prem and turn them into this serious team. Got them to the Prem, jumped from League One all the way to the Championship. Got to, I think it was in the playoffs in the Championship. Got straight to the Premier League. Boom, we made it, made it to the big time. First season, we came 15th. And I was like, yeah, not bad, I can take it. We were in League One like two years ago, back-to-back -back promotions, and then I came 10th. And I got sacked. Sacked off. And I was like, okay, cool. Annoying I got sacked, but there should be a lot of opportunities here now. Check the game, one team wanted me. One team in the world wanted me, and it was Norwich. Norwich. I had to go to Norwich who were 17th place in the league and tried to keep them up. And I had like no money. How, how do I go from a 10th place Sunderland team where everyone could have seen my progression as a manager to managing a 17th place Norwich team on the brink of relegation, who then got relegated because I just didn't have enough like resources to keep them up, then got sacked and then got told I have to manage League One all over again. Even when you're successful in the game. So I was manager of Liverpool, we won the Premiership, we won the Champions League, we won everything you can think of, like back to back to back. So far into career mode, when you've been playing for like eight, nine years in the game, there's no opportunity for any jobs. Like nothing comes up. What is that about? That is my number one, one of my number one gripes in the game. Number two, kit customization. I need to be able to customise my kit if I'm going to be in this team for 15 years. We'll be able to do it on Ultimate Team and then there's probably some licensing reasons as to why we can't customise kits, home or away kits or even third kits, but it gets so repetitive playing in the same kit every season. The managers never change like throughout the game either and it just becomes like tedious like just little changes like you can't get sponsor deals you can't get like anything in the game that is commercial or that involves a change to a stadium or absolutely anything so that side of it it just needs to change i just want to be able to change my kit even if it just means going from nike to adidas like just look at look look at other titles like nba I changed the Brooklyn Nets to the Harlem Globetrotters on career mode. A whole new team and we had the chance to relocate. But FIFA, no, I mean. you're going to have the same kit, whole 15 years, same stadium, absolute no change at all. They need to fix it up. That's my next one. Customization. Number three, transfers. Explain, explain this to me. I want to design Tyrone Mings from Aston Villa. Shortlisted him, all good. Newcastle coming with an offer of six million pounds. So I was like, okay, okay, I'll see you. Let me sign him up for six million then. Go through the processes. Newcastle go, sorry man, we're not signing anyone for 10 million pounds. Hmm. What? You've accepted the offer from Newcastle for six million, but then when it comes to me, you want 10 million. How does that work? Why? Why? Mind blown, mate. If Newcastle are offering four million pounds, I should be able to offer four million pounds and then the player chooses which way he wants to go, depending on bonuses, add-ons, wages, all that stuff. Not, oh, well, we see that you, you know, I, I don't know what, I, I, I don't know, I don't know. But it needs to change. 
that is so annoying. You end up spending double for pretty much any player you want compared to other teams. Like, it ain't right. Number four, injuries. Now this is a weird one. The reason I want to see more injuries in the game is because it adds to that level of, oh, we haven't got a striker this week that we can trust to score as a goal. We need to go to January transfer market and sign a striker. I could have a squad of 44 players and the starting 11 doesn't really change. The international duty doesn't really clash with any of the games. They never come back injured. Players are usually out the game for like four weeks. So you don't really miss them that much. Uh, so it'd be really cool if there was a few reasons why players couldn't play, whether it be international duty or they're too tired or there's an injury and it means that you're gonna have to start playing more of your youth players or players that you don't usually select because they're on bad form and gives them an opportunity to increase their form. So that would be my next one. Here's an idea, the option to play the Club World Cup. So the Club World Cup is when you've won the Premiership, all the best teams around the world, usually vast some nations and countries, they all get together and play in the tournament. Why have we not got that? Why can't we play against all the best teams so we can see who the real, real best team is and win that competition? Like, why is that not in the game? I just, I don't, I don't get it. It gives me a headache. I feel like I've got a headache. Yeah, I do. If we can get that in the game, that would be amazing. But in terms of friendlies and tournaments and stuff, it just needs scrapping. Start that again. Let us pick who we want in our tournament. Let us pick who our friendlies are against so we can actually have a varied range of teams to play against at different levels. This is another one. I'm kind of adding like a sixth one in here. You should be able to pick like an assistant manager, a coach, people around you that can recommend players to play that game. You don't really get that. Like you, your assistant manager sends you an email now and again and goes, Oh man, uh, I recommend you playing so-and-so because he's, you know, he's fit. But that's not, that's not enough. Like it's not of detail, it's not of reasons to why we should play him. But there should be more of an analysis. How, why can't I say that word? On why we're gonna be pit these players. Um, but there isn't that in this game, unfortunately. So there's a kind of like a joint one for you. It's kind of a mishmash. It's friendlies and tournaments. Just, yeah, change it, make it more customizable and a better coaching team around you that you have selected. Anyway guys, that is my top five changes that I wanna see in FIFA 21 career mode. Overall, FIFA 20, it's been fun, I've enjoyed it. It's been cool like doing different stuff like taking the League 2 team to the Premier League and going over, over abroad to countries that you wouldn't normally go to. But I think it's time for I think it's time for that change and I want to see some customization. Uh, as soon as FIFA 21 does come out, I'll make sure to review it. But anyway guys, let me know in the chat what are the changes you would like to see coming to FIFA 21. Anyway, thanks for watching guys. Peace.